Today we're going to talk about the integration between the ICAP, the Internet Content um, Adaptation Protocol, and ADC, which is the Application Delivery Controller. When you mention ICAP, the Internet Content Adaptation Protocol, and we go ahead and combine it with ADC, Application Delivery Controller, we can have granular scanning within our content coming in within the company network and also the uh, content living out. More explicitly, I'm talking about web content, so we need to be quite clear about that. Okay, so usually this would be your HTTP and your HTTPS uh, traffic. Okay, so HTTP and HTTPS. So we're not really concerned about any other type of traffic like email and so on, so it's quite specific to web based traffic. So obviously here we're talking about RCAP and ADC. So in ADC, if I can draw a picture here of my internet connection, and here we have the ability to go ahead and uh, use an ADC, if I just use a very simplistic um, example here, where the ADC is providing our application delivery control. So more familiar with terms like load balancing, application security, and also content switching or content redirection. So that's essentially what the ADC is providing us. Obviously the ADC could do a lot more, but we're going to stick to that. So since we have a device here that's able to see all traffic coming in, right? So I'm going to draw my backend system here. So these are applications or our um, specific uh, backend server. I want the ability to go ahead and check all traffic flowing through between my ADC, internet connectivity ADC and backend, and then traffic going back, you know, all the way back to the internet. So we need some sort of plugin. We need something that will allow us to go ahead and look at that traffic and inspect it for malware, inspect it for sensitive information leaving the company, and essentially what we call data leakage prevention, DLP. So we're combining the ICAP protocol and an ADC, an application delivery controller device to provide that type of um, you know, con real-time content scanning. So how are we going to do that? So you can see here I can bring an external device, right? So this device here, I'm going to draw this as our content scanning device, CS, right? So this device understands a protocol called ICAP, and I've already mentioned this is the internet content adaptation protocol, and it's a non-protocol that is open to um, anyone that could go ahead and implement it. We can have a user here, so I'm going to draw a user sitting somewhere here. Again, two tiny legs for our little user. So we can have traffic flowing through the internet, right, hitting our ADC, as you can see here, right, but before we send that traffic to the backend uh, system here, represented by application, we can go ahead and direct that traffic to a NICAP compliant or a NICAP a system that could support the RCAP protocol. So you can see from then on, we can have traffic flowing through the ADC, going through the RCAP system, and here the RCAP could then go ahead and decide what we're going to do to that traffic. Right? If it's good news, our traffic is clean or compliant to the company policy, we can say yes, go ahead and carry on with that traffic. And if it's bad news in terms of the client um, uh, traffic or the inbound or outbound traffic is not compliant, we can go ahead and say no, go ahead and drop that traffic. So you can see how the RCAP server or the RCAP content scanning is providing that extra level of security using the RCAP protocol and by doing so, giving us the ability to apply things like data leakage prevention, right? AV scanning, malware scanning, right? By integrating my ADC and my RCAP functionality. So it's a fairly powerful um, protocol. And when you combine it with your existing ADC, which has already seen all the traffic, you know, going in, in and out on your network, and we're talking about web-based traffic in this case, you can see here we can have a powerful combination between the ICAP and the ADC to strengthen the security of your network, and by doing so, protecting your client's data against um, all type of uh, internet-based threat. Thank you.